Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome back to Still Stillwater Creek. Apparently, I don't know how to read. We were a Skies teacher um, who was teaching in Canada. We just helped Jessica learn how to make friends. And it's the end of the day. I start packing up all my stuff as everyone begins to leave. Hey, Paul. Jesus. No, I'm Jessica. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. It's all right, Jess. Apparently, I'm too busy packing up to notice Jess. Anyway, uh, what can I do for you? I just want to thank you again for all the help you've given me over the past few days. I really enjoyed today. I'm glad you did, and I'm proud of you, Jessica. So you know what you're going to do next? I think so. And what is that? You'll see. Well, you have me intrigued, if nothing else. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing bad. Okay. You'll find out tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. I hope she bakes a cake. Anyway, better home, head home now. See you tomorrow, Paul. Take care, Jessica. Or Jess, sorry. I'm really pleased with all the progress Jess has made over the past few days. I'll have to wait till tomorrow now and see what she meant. Is that us going to sleep? Did we go home at least? I hope I didn't sleep under my desk. Um, are you sure that's right now, Jack? Yeah, you might be getting a bit confused. I'm serious, guys. Orioles are just a huge conspiracy. A conspiracy of deliciousness, Jack. They got to you, didn't they? I don't know what you mean. What? Yup, just a lunch like any other. I'm not sure that's entirely right. I'm being stupid enough to argue against Jack. I tell you, it starts with the biscuits. But, it get, but give it a decade and we'll have a full-scale nuclear war at our hands with the South Koreans. Alright, Jack, I hate to point this out. But the word biscuits is, this is not the correct usage. The word biscuits would work if you were in England when you were talking about co a cookie like an Oreo. But if you were in Canada or the United States of America, you would use the word cookie. So Jack, you are a British spy! Ah, uh, but Oreos aren't even Korean, and it's uh, the North Koreans that are potentially hostile, not the South. That's what you think! Jeez, that's sinister. Well, whatever, man. Hey, sir, uh, are we going to do more group work today? I'm going to group work your face with my fist if you don't shut up, Victor. Uh, yeah, that was really fun. I'm afraid not today. It was just so I could look at Jessica. In fact, that was originally a one-off. But if you enjoyed it, I could organize group work sessions more often, maybe. Huh? Yes, please. Yeah, that would be great. What a bunch of ass kissers. Anyway, I got a physics report I need to hand in just now. I'll see you all in class. Can I go to your school, Victor? My school was so poor and so cheap. You know what happened senior year at my school? They were like, we're just not going to offer physics anymore. I'm like, what? Are you going to offer chemistry? No. <laughs> what kind of shit-ass school did I go to? That's why I skipped mostly, because my senior year, they, well, I'd already taken chemistry. But then he, they, they just quit offering physics. I was like, what kind of shitty school do I have where they're not even going to offer physics? So I just went home at lunch. In real life, they'd be like... um, I remember one time the uh, who was it, the counselor, whoever the fuck does the schedule, is like, uh, you have to come. I'm like, no, I don't think I'm going to. And I didn't mean it in a sexy way. And they're like, well, I'm going to send you to the teacher's aid. I'm like, I'm not fucking working for free. Fuck that shit. I'm going to go home and play video games. And I did. Every day my senior year. Okay, see you later. Yeah, see you, Victor. But just as Victor leaves, a face who doesn't normally lynch her comes in. Yay, it's Jessica! Hey, guys! Hey, Jess, what brings you here? Uh, I just fancied a change in the scenery, that was all. Mind if I hang out here? Of course not. Grab a seat. Jessica sits down with Hannah and Jack. So this must be what she was talking about yesterday. The three of them begin chatting away. I'm, ha I'm glad I helped Jessica out. Oh, for goodness sake, Oreo's a perfectly respectable company, Jack. See? See? Jessica agrees with me. Not this shit again. Whatever, guys. I know I'm right, so I'll get the last laugh. Well, at least I'm not the only one who's glad to hear the bell go. I'm teaching the kids this period, so I expect them to go to their normal seats, but before they do... Say, Hannah? Yeah? I'm really enjoying having lunch here. Mind if I join you guys again? Of course you can. You're welcome anytime. Great, thanks. And they all head to their respective seats, Jessica giving me a small smile on her way past, subtly thanking me for getting her off. What? Oh, getting her off that roof and in the company of other students. Wait, wait, was that the surprise? Was the surprise she had lunch with the other kids? 
I thought she was gonna make me a cookies! Or cake! That wasn't a... Chapter 3, Some Son, Am I Disappoint. Thursday morning, double period has come around again. Uh, why do I have a double in the morning? What's wrong with the afternoon? And of course, Louisa is the first to arrive, as cheery as ever. Great. Hi, sir! Hello. Oh, not a morning person, are we? No, no, I'm not. Well, if it's any consolation, math's my favorite class to have on a morning. Let's get the brain working, you know? She sounds suspiciously like Hannah. Only Hannah's voice isn't as creepy. Well, I can't say that doesn't make me feel any better. Thanks. She goes off to her seat. Something feels different about Louisa today, and I can't put my finger on it. I probably shouldn't put my finger on Louisa, or I might get in trouble, if you know what I mean. The bell's noting the end of the first period, but because this is a double, everyone stays the fuck put. Alright, guys, I want to take five just now before getting on with the next batch of work. Class seems pleased with this idea as they began to relax. That's strange. Usually Victor would be chatting away with Jack or Hannah or someone. But instead he's just sitting there tranquilly and deep in thought. Really, dude? Really, me? Teacher me? I have nothing better to do? When am I going to buy a TV and some video games? Like, they got to pay me something to be a teacher here in Canada. Maybe they pay me in beaver pelts. I don't know. But I should be able to get something to do than just give a shit about what the kids are doing all day. I'll ask that little fuckhead if he's okay. I decided to talk to him. Yo, Victor. Ah, uh, what? Uh, did you- Yeah, did you want something, sir? Yeah, I was wondering if you're okay. You seem kind of, you know, distant. Uh, I, I, I'm okay, really. I was just thinking, that's all. Well, as long as you're sure. To be entirely honest, the way he says that reminds me of the way Jess spoke when I first started talking to her, so I don't know whether I should believe him or not. I hope he's okay. All right, break's over. Back to work, motherfuckers. The class reluctantly returned to their books. Eighth graders rush through the door as the lunchtime bell rings, and the usual twelfth graders come in for lunch. Well, almost everyone. Where's Victor? I can't help but notice Victor's left the classroom. Either that or Jack is a stud. Jack's got a woman on each arm. Maybe his whole Oreo thing works. I wonder where uh, Victor's going. It can't be the cafeteria. Day hardly goes by without him mentioning his hatred for cafeteria food. Maybe he's got another physics report to hand in? Maybe he's on the roof now that Jessica's not. Mr. Jackman? What, huh? You're almost sleeping there. Sorry, I was thinking, okay? What about? Is there a problem that we can help? Might be worth asking them about Victor, particularly Hannah and Jack. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know if there's anything up with Victor just now, would you? I mean, there just seems to be something up today. Yeah, I can say I can't say I haven't noticed it, nor can I say I'm not worried. I mean, I asked him if there was anything up, but he just told me he was fine. Perhaps he just needs some space. Oh God, why didn't I need more voices? Like, remember how he said I was fine for a while before? I, like, I said I was fine for a while before I told you I needed help. Yeah, we know, Jessica. Maybe he'll come around and tell you what's up in his own time. I hope so, Jess. I really do. Wait, that happened to you, Jess? Didn't you know? I used to really struggle talking to people until Paul helped me. Oh, don't call me by my first name. Wow, I had no idea. I had no idea you guys were on first name terms. Louisa would be jealous. Wait, Louisa's got the hots for me? That's far closer to the truth than I'd like it to be. Oh, Hannah. Looks like we'll be talking about Louisa and first names for the rest of lunch. Is it really that big of a deal in this day and age? Most people use first names. It's not like the 1950s. That's today over, and thank goodness tomorrow's Friday, and I am freaking exhausted. <sighs> I pack up my bags and head out of the school. It's a really nice day outside. If only it was more like this back home. Now that I think about it, I haven't really thought about Scotland for a long while. I guess I've been too busy enjoying my new life out here, teaching kids, talking to kids, changing their lives. Or sorting out all of my students' problems. <laughs> he literally is like, well, I used to be in Scotland and I almost got engaged, but now I'm here hanging out with teenagers and fixing the problems. Life is good. Even though I don't have any friends or anyone to go home to. Either way, I kind of miss Scotland. Uh, 
Hey, sir. Uh, who could this be? Uh, Victor. Uh, Vic oh. Uh, hey, sir. Who could this be? Victor? Um, hey, sir. Okay. An awkward silence passes. Is there something you want, Victor? I'm gonna go home and watch some Star Trek The Next Generation reruns on Netflix. So, like, don't keep me, please. I feel like asking him again may be a good idea. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for lying earlier. LIAR! You're just like Jennifer, my whore of an ex! Uh, what? Another silence. Mind if we go for a walk? Uh, there's something I want to show you. As long as it's not your dick? Okay. I wonder where this is going. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to accept being his teacher. Hell, if it was someone like Louise, I'd never accept. Is that because it's inappropriate, or is it just because Louise is annoying? <laughs> God knows what she'd plan to do with me if I did. Uh oh. Oh, well, my moral dilemma with Louise is another thing entirely. To be honest, I trust Victor. He's a really good student who I've been talking to a lot over the past few weeks. I'm not into dudes. The least I can do is help this kid out. Yeah, go ahead. Lead the way, man. He nods and heads out the gate as I follow him. We walk in silence until we reach a small park near some houses. Victor takes a seat on the bench underneath a tree and I follow suit. We sit in silence for a few moments, which allows me to fully take in my surroundings. This is actually a really nice park. A lot of greenery and benches, some shrubberies, but not too many people. Between this and the excellent weather today, I can see why Victor may like this place. It's a nice little park, but I doubt he only brought me here to show me how pretty it all was. Ellipses! Ah, oh, this is my bench. Oh, did you buy it? Did you donate it to it? Did you put your name on it? Well, obviously it's not my own personal bench, but it's, it's where I like to sit and think things over. My house is in the group of houses nearby, and obviously it's not far from school, so it's like ideal for me. And yes, if you were wondering, this is where I come this lunchtime. Oh, I came this lunchtime. Dude, I don't need to hear where you came at all. And I, instead of eating with Hannah and Jack and, you know, Jess. Do you have a problem with Jess? Jess is cool, man. Um, I see. So I assume you've been thinking about something today and wanted to talk about it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry for dragging you out here, but I feel a lot more relaxed here than I would if I were to talk about this in the classroom with you. Okay. I can tell whatever Victor is about to tell me is really, really bothering him. Or he really likes to feel bench wood on his ass. It must be something really big, like bench wood. Um, have you ever learned something that once you learn it, you feel like you've known all along? Yeah, I have, man. Yeah, I have. I used to know this whore. She told me she was fucking someone else. And I should have known. Six years down the drain. Oh man, this isn't really about... Six years! I was gonna marry her. What do you do with a ring? What do you do with a ring that you buy for a woman? You can't use it on somebody else. You can't say, yeah, yeah, will you marry me? Oh, this ring? I bought it for someone else before you. That doesn't work. I'm out the money on the ring. And if I resell it, I'm not gonna get as much for it. Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Victor. But I'm, I'm not sure I follow you. Like, I imagine there's something you don't know, a question you don't know the answer to. Imagine that. And imagine the question is on your mind a lot of the time. You wonder about it, you want to know, and constantly trying to figure out the answer and what it means. Except you, when you eventually find the meaning behind all your thinking, and, um, everything makes sense, it, um, it feels like, you know, you've known all the time what it meant. As if the answer was always there inside of you, and all you did was find it amongst the mess of, mess of all your feelings. Wow, man, that's deep. All these kids in my school are so deep. Wow. I mean, because that's what I feel like right right now. I... Are you gay? Do you like Jack? That's okay if you do. And he stops. Take your time, Victor. There's no rush. I, it takes me an hour to get home. There's nothing at my house to do. There's a couch I sit on and I can masturbate alone. You probably didn't need to hear about that. Take your time, man. I... I think I'm gay. Oh, I called it. cha -ching. Oh, teacher skills, man. Like, instead of spidey senses, I had teacher senses. I was all over that. I mean, I've been thinking about it for a while now. To be honest, I was never entirely sure about my sexuality. Oh, great story, Victor. Go, go look up some porn on the internet. This should figure it out for you. But today, everything just seemed, fall, seemed to fall into place. Jeez, no wonder he was being so deep. He wants it in his butt. Butt deep. This is a pretty big deal. Well, firstly, congratulations on figuring it out, dude. I can only imagine how tough it was for you. I can't honestly... I can't honestly, okay, dude? I don't. I can't understand it. I'm straight. 
as long as I've known, I've liked girls. So I don't know what it's like to be like, I maybe like boys. I don't know what that's like. Or to be like, I like boys, but I'm afraid people are going to be assholes to me. I can't say I relate because I've not been through it. It's not a judging thing, but it is bullshit when somebody... It's like, uh, let's assume your grandma dies and somebody has never had any family members die. And they're like, I know what you're going through. I once lost my goldfish, and then I found it. It was in the bowl. You'd be like, no, you do not know what I'm going through. And it was really hard. Like the dicks I like to see online, but thank you. Although an apology is for sounding rude, but isn't figuring out the hardest part? I just wonder what you may need help with next. I'm not going to blow you. A perfectly reasonable question. I'm not gay, and I've never had to help someone assert their sexuality before. Well, I kind of need help with two things. I'm not going to help you score with Jack. Firstly, and probably easiest, will be telling my parents. Well, I think you should probably tell them, because they don't know me. My father is rather traditional and may not like it, but my mother should be okay with it. To be honest, you are who you are, dude. There's not a lot you can do about that. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I thought. So you think I should tell them tonight? I don't see why not. Okay, I'll do that. Secondly? He makes a large sigh. Eh... There's someone I like, but I have no idea how to tell him. Oh, please don't be me. Please don't be me. I've had this enough times in real life where someone's like, I want to tell you something, but I don't know how. And then I'm always like, don't tell me. And they're like, but I want to. And I don't, don't tell me. The moment they say don't tell you, it means they know what you mean and they don't feel the same way. But I really need to. No. And they're like, I love you. I'm sorry. I don't feel the same way. With my luck, the one person who would hear that and be like, I want to tell you that would be like, okay, I'm not going to tell you, but, but I want to hear it from you. I mean, I don't even know if he's gay. It's me. I'm not gay. I'm manly. I'm manly Buffly McBufferson. I put my dick in Jennifer. I'm sure everybody else has too, but that still means I'm a man. And Luis, Luisa, she's the high school girl likes me, I think. Uh, you know what? That's a tough one, dude. If you don't mind me asking, uh, who do you got a crush on? Um, it's Jack. <laughs> Jack is so stupid I'm sorry Stupid people need loving too But come on Victor Jack what on earth Can he see in him Oh I know what he can see in him He can see his dick in Jack's butthole Wait maybe this would work If Jack and Victor become a couple Then Jessica and Hannah Will have to hang out with me <laughs> Then I don't have to buy a TV Or get cable I know a lot of people find him annoying and stuff, but, you know, the way he'll argue anything and always says the stupid things, the stupidest things even, I think it's kind of cute. Dude. You know, okay, firstly, that's something I never thought I'd hear, hear, but secondly, if you're going to live with someone and get serious, 20 years down the line, you don't want to be like, oh my god, it was cute 10 years ago when he was screaming about the Orioles, but now when we can't bite them at the store because he's assuming there's an Oriole conspiracy, not so fun. Get someone who's smart. How can I tell him how I feel? Use your mouth. What am I supposed to say? I'm sorry, Victor. I have absolutely no idea. Yeah, I do. Just fucking tell him. Oh. He seems pretty upset, and I don't want to be entirely useless. Well, I mean, I, I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head. I'll think about it and see. Maybe take your dick out and see how he responds to it. It's probably not the way to go, though. However, I'll help you in any way I can, okay? I'm, uh, Okay. Uh, I take a look at the time and realize yeah, it's getting late. You know what? I need to go now, Victor. Sorry. Wait, that advice was terrible. Seriously? That's the advice? Come on, Victor. It's okay to have those feelings. Why don't you talk to... Who, what's his name? Jack. See if he's into dudes. If he's not into dudes, then back off because he's not going to be into you. If he's into dudes, then tell him you like him. It's not that hard, man. Sorry, I was just going to be like, it's not that hard in your pants. Hey, that's not nice, Victor. Not nice. Uh, but we can meet up again tomorrow afternoon and talk about this some more, if you like. Because I have no life, I assure you. <coughs> oh, sorry, I choked on a bug. Oh, fucking bugs in this park. Besides, I'd like to hear how you get on with your parents tonight. <coughs> oh, sorry, that bug. It went down the wrong pipe. And yeah, yeah, I think I'd like that. Well, that's a plan, then. I'll see you tomorrow, Vic. Yeah, I'll see you. Uh, it's really late when I get back to the flat, uh, so I decided I'm just going to go straight to fucking bed. Hopefully I'll sleep on it. I'll have better things to say, you know, when I see Victor tomorrow. 
Hopefully I have something better than what I had when I'm like, I can't help you! Ah, uh, Friday morning. Friday, Friday, Friday. I think I'll save Friday for the next episode. I am really enjoying this game, honestly. It's... Uh, people created it. Uh, the off chance you see this. I'm having a ton of fun with this. And uh, if not, as you know, most of you regular viewers, if you look in the description, there will probably be a link in the game if you would like to try it yourself. Either way, I'd like to thank you all for watching. And next time, we'll see what happens. See what happens with Victor as he tells his parents, I hope his parents accept him for him. Goodbye.